Hi guys! So today's video is very exciting, at least I'm excited to do it. So today we're going to talk all about Gerard Cosmetics and Whitening Lightning. And I know as soon as some of you hear that you're like, oh hell no, sponsored, free products, she's lying, being paid. Let me just put it out there, I am not being sponsored by the brand, I am not being paid at all. They did send me the products to try out. So I got all of these products for free, but that was it. Like I know a lot of people talk about these products and I was one of the people that was very skeptical. Is the are these products really good or is everybody just being paid? Like I even posted on Instagram about it. We had a very heated conversation. Some people said the products were amazing and the best thing ever and then other people who had not tried the products yet were saying that everybody's just being paid. So it's one of those things like don't knock it till you try it. So anyway, I don't want this intro to be too long, but I'm going to go through all the products that they sent me and then I'm going to do lip swatches for you guys because I know that's the product that I think most people are curious about. Their lip products are talked about all over YouTube and I feel like a lot of you are curious about them but you want an honest opinion. I am here today to give you guys an honest opinion. There's no money involved in this. Um, it's just me with some new products and I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about them. So. If you don't like videos where people talk about products that they were sent for free, then you should probably peace out and tune in to my next video. I'm going to show you guys right now what I received from the brand and then we'll do the lip swatches. So I got two of their Brow Bar To Go eyebrow powders and don't even look at these eyebrows today. I used a new eyebrow product, it wasn't these, and they just kept getting bigger and bigger and good grief. They're enormous. But I haven't really played around with these. Now there's two powders in here and then there's a, I can't get it open. Oh my god. Holy sh. Okay, so there's two powders and then there's a wax. I have used the wax and I have to say I've never used an eyebrow wax like before filling in my brows and I'm all about it. I really, really like how it makes the like powder or brow pencil whatever you're using it makes it apply very nicely so I may use these in a get ready with me so you guys can see them in action I have not used them enough to give you any kind of feedback on them but the wax is pretty awesome I also have the dial a smile kit which I haven't used um, it's a teeth whitening kit by the way. If you guys would like to see a separate video on this, let me know and I can do that for you. But I have heard really good things about this and I've seen results like in YouTube videos and the results are pretty, pretty amazing. So I'm thinking it's going to work. I don't know though because I haven't tried it myself. So let me know if anybody is interested. And then I have the Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination Facial Cream. I've talked about this so much on my channel. I love this stuff. This was one of the products that I was most curious about because I had heard so many good things about it. This I like to mix in with my foundation and you guys have seen me do that in videos. I just take a tiny pump of this with my foundation and uh, it gives you the most beautiful glow to your skin. Now you can use this as it says apply to clean skin over or under foundation or moisturizer. So you can use it as a primer, you can use it as a highlighter or the what what? Or what I like to do and mix it in with my foundation. Okay, finally getting into the fun stuff. The lip glosses. So I have 12 of their Color Your Smile lighted lip glosses. And these are in the old packaging, which this is the nude one. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has Color Your Smile, Lighted Lip Gloss, Whitening Lightning, and then their phone number and their website. They have kind of revamped their glosses and they're a lot, I don't know, they're a lot not as busy, look a lot more sleek. So when you open it up, it has the light on it. So when you're putting it on, you can kind of, you know, if you're in a nightclub or something, I will say 
when I'm out and about, if it's dark, I think the light really comes in handy. But I wish there was a little button where you could turn it off because when I'm inside and just regular lighting, the light kind of throws me off a little bit. It almost puts like a glare on your lips. You'll, you'll see as I'm doing the swatches. And then it has this little mirror on the back, which I think every lip gloss should have a mirror. So yeah, that's pretty much the packaging. And now I am going to get into swatches. I have 12 of them to swatch, so this is probably gonna be a fairly long video. Okay, so let me get started. I'm gonna start with the nude one. And I don't have anything on my lips right now so just some like fresh sugar lip treatment this I'm telling you guys I am NOT just saying this I swear to you this is one of the best nude lip glosses ever these glosses are so pigmented and opaque that they stand on their own you don't have to layer them over a lipstick I do both I wear them alone or I layer them but honestly, you do not need anything under them. They all are so pigmented. Okay, I started applying and realized I didn't zoom you guys in. Look how opaque that is. Can you guys see that? Jeez Louise. Okay, so that is nude. Now these are a stickier, like heavier lip gloss. I don't mind the stickiness. I feel like it's almost a good thing because it really keeps them on your lips. These glosses wear for a really long time and they're not supposed to be long wearing or anything like that. I love this color. I just think it's like the perfect nude and yeah, this is a good one. Nude all the way. I love it. The next one I'm going to swatch is Sugar Mama and this is a super light. I feel like it's a like a whitish pink almost because it is really really light but I love this layered over like a brighter darker pink because it kind of takes down any lip product that's too dark or too bright this is perfect Okay, so Sugar Mama. Now you can see I wouldn't wear this on its own, but I love this, like I said, layered over pretty much any lip color. I just don't love it by itself. And by the way, guys, these don't have any smell to them or any like tingle or, you know, some lip products are very plumping and they give you that like burning sensation. These don't, which I love because I hate I hate Tingle products. They drive me crazy. So this is Sugar Mama. Sugar Mama. Okay, next up is Pink Tiara. This one looks really, really pretty by itself. It's just a really nice lighter pink, but kind of like a mid-tone pink. I wear this one a lot. Okay, so this is, not Sugar Mama, this is Pink Tiara. I really love this one by itself. Mm. And it, they feel really nice. They are definitely a thicker gloss, like I said, but it's such a good thickness. Okay, next up we have Fiji. Now again, this one I probably would not wear on its own because it is an intense, like, it kind of reminds me of Candy Yum Yum from MAC in lip gloss form. Look at that pigmentation, that's crazy. Okay, so this is Fiji. I never wore this one by itself. I always put it on top of a lipstick. I love it by itself. What have I been missing? Mm, mm-hmm. Okay, the next one I'm gonna put on is Coral Craze. This is the one that I had on in my empties video. I think this is my favorite one to wear by itself. It's gorgeous. I just love this color so much. It's so pretty. It's 
like a nude, but it has a little bit of like a peachiness to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Highly, highly recommend this one. It makes me excited. Okay, so next we're going to try Salmon. Now this one is similar to Coral Craze, but you can see it's a little bit more like orangey peachy orange kind of. I do like this one by itself and I didn't think that I would. This one I feel is not as thick as some of the other ones. It's, I don't know, it has a thinner feel to it. Does anybody else hate their lipstick applying face? Mine is so bad. This one feels so much thinner on my lips for some reason, and I don't know, I like this color. I think it's something different, and it's really pretty. Mm. Okay, next up we are going to try Pink Frosting. I'm not gonna lie, this is not one of my favorites. This one I still have the plastic one. Um, I don't know, I just, don't love it on me. I did see it on, was it Shannon from Shan XO and it looked really good on her. Okay, I'm having like an epiphany here or like I have to eat my words. I've never worn this one by itself and by itself I like it but I don't like this layered over other colors. That doesn't even make sense, I know, but it's really pretty. It is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Chihuahua, that NARS lipstick that I just got. I think I have it down in my purse, but this looks very similar to that. And the shimmer is not too, like, in your face. Mm. And this one feels thinner as well. This one feels a lot like salmon, where it's not as thick as, like... Pink Tiara and Fiji, like the three pinks, these guys here, these are a lot thicker on the lips. I don't know why, but maybe because I've worn them so much, they just got kind of thick. I don't know, but they feel thicker to me than this one and Salmon. Okay. <laughs> oh, now I have to take this off, and it looks so pretty. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, next we are going to try out Pouty Princess. Ooh, I, I've not worn this one at all, so this is... Oh no, mine is broken. What the heck? I've never worn this one. Where is my thingamajig? Oh my god, it's stuck in there. That is not a good sign. Oh, well, we're not going to get a swatch of Pouty Princess. Sorry guys, but that's what it looks like. Oh, I'm so sad. Well, that sucks. Okay, I'm going to try Summer Sun. This one matches my nails. All right, let's give this a go. Oh, snap. Look at that. I didn't think I was going to like this one at all. I've never worn this, so this is like first impression. But I kind of like it on. I don't know. It's kind of different, and I love that it matches my nails. That's kind of silly, but that those kinds of things excite me. I mean, this is just a lip gloss by itself, and look at that pigmentation. That just, it doesn't, what's Duke doing? It doesn't make sense. Let me go let him into my room. Okay, next up is Candy Apple. And this is another one that I have not worn. I know I'm kind of slacking. I've been wearing the pinks and the nudes and like salmon. I wear those a lot. Oh, I thought it was going to be more red. I really like this one. I never wore this one, but I, I haven't even worn this on top of something. So, like, not at all. And I really like it. It looks so pretty. I thought it was going to be super, like, cherry red in your face. And it's not. It's like a, 
a berry red almost. I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror. I really like this one. Okay, next we have Jewel. Another one I have not tried. I really don't think I'm going to like this one. It's just not my color. Okay, so this is Jewel, another one that I thought I was going to hate, and I don't hate it. One weird thing about these, not really weird, but when I first put them on, any of them, as I'm first putting it on, I'm like, uh, oh, this is going on weird. But once the gloss, like, warms up to your body temperature, they take on a totally new meaning. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but... It's like once they warm up to your body temperature, they look so much better. I, I don't know. If any of you guys have any of these, let me know if you find that same thing. I guess I should have mentioned it earlier in the video, but these lip glosses are supposed to make your teeth appear whiter. They were like formulated and the colors were specifically chosen with your teeth in mind, like brightening and whitening your teeth. This one makes my teeth look really white. That's what kind of made me think of it. Okay, and the last one is Seduction. I am afraid. This is super dark, and no, I have not worn this one. This is so not my color. Oh my gosh, this is going to be scary. I'm afraid. Okay, so this one I just got done putting on and I can see it already. Now I don't love this color, but when I first put it on, it was so patchy. And once it warms up, it just like, I don't know, the patchiness goes away. It's weird. Okay, this is definitely not the best swatch. But this is seduction. I can tell you I do not own any lip glosses like this one. Alright guys, so I ended up putting pink frosting back on. This was the one that I said I didn't like and I swear this is like one of my favorites. And I do have a discount code that I'll put down below. You guys don't have to use it. When they sent me the products to try out, they just gave me the code. I didn't even ask for it. Um, I do get a little portion of like commission because it's an affiliate link if you end up using the link. So if you don't want that to happen, just don't use the link. I'm just letting you guys know you get, I think it's 25% off site wide if you type in polished in caps. So yeah, I love you guys so much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. I know some of you bitches are gonna think that I'm lying, but you know what? What can I do? What can I do but dance? Dance, dance, dance. So yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> now would be the time where you want to exit the video, and all I can really say to you is, do you, boo boo? But <laughs> I love when people say that. Do you, boo boo? Mm hmm. I just had to try it. I just had to try it one time. Didn't work out too well for me though. Ow, oh, oh, ow. Oh my god, really? It's sore today from pulling all those wings. Do I look shiny? Do I look shiny? There's a bug on my wall. And they're, they're thick, but it's, it's a good <laughs> pink tiara for the win. I don't know why I care so much. Like, who gives a flying fudge ball if people don't believe you? I shouldn't care, but I just, I don't want you guys to think I'm lying because I'm not. I don't know. I don't want to protest too much because then people are going to be like, wow, I'm doth protest too much. Fuck.